There's an old adage that says the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and the second best time is now. Well, the same goes for interstellar messaging. The best time to transmit is right now. My name is Douglas Vakoch. I'm president of METI, which stands for Messaging Extraterrestrial Intelligence. The greatest obstacle to sending messages to extraterrestrials and getting a reply back is simply the time scale. As we think of communicating with other stars, in the best case scenario, it takes over four years for our message to get there and a reply to get back. One of my favorite targets is TRAPPIST-1, which is a, a red dwarf star that is orbited by at least seven planets. They're each roughly Earth size, and at least three of them are in the habitable zone. Now, TRAPPIST isn't the nearest star. It's about 40 light years away. Any message that we get back from TRAPPIST-1 will come after I'm dead. So when I look at that, star on the screen as we're observing it, you know, I, it, it's um, kind of poignant because I think we're sending a message there. Maybe there's someone who will hear about it, but if so, I'll never know. We are not used to operating on the time scales of our planet, especially now at the beginning of the 21st century. Our mindset is not one of a long-term investment. And so, METI faces an uphill battle because we are saying that there are some kind of responses you just can't have right away. The only way this succeeds is if this becomes an activity that is embraced and continued generation after generation.